The Barclays Women's Super League returns after the international window. And it's fair to say for both West Ham and Manchester United, it was a welcome break. With West Ham losing last time out to Everton and Manchester United tasting defeat also in their game against Arsenal. Rian Skinner has said that she is still pretty confident that West Ham will avoid relegation, although safety definitely isn't guaranteed for the Hammers. Also, Manchester United, any hopes of Champions League qualification? Well, they've long since faded. Defeat here, though, could spell trouble for Mark, the second Skinner on the touchline today. Well, we had a pretty busy international break. Plenty of these players involved with their international sides, and that has offered the opportunity for them to get minutes, but it's certainly affected whether or not players are included today. And that's reflected in the teams. We'll start with West Ham. No Shalina Zadorski because she's been involved with Canada. Kirsty Smith does line up against her former side and five of this team now have the chance to head to the Olympics this summer with Australia and Japan qualifying over the international break. Arnold, Gori, Shimizu, Hayashi and Ueki could all feature in Paris. The Manchester United players, it was also pretty busy over the international window. There was great news for Millie Turner, who made her debut for England against Italy. Nikita Paris, despite her excellent form, though, didn't make the England squad. And maybe today she will have a point to prove for Manchester United. Well, earlier on in the season, you may remember that this game was something of a whitewash. West Ham were beaten pretty heavily by Manchester United. And these players will be looking to avoid another 5-0 defeat. Jace, Turner, Paris, Mala and Garcia all on the score sheet when these two met earlier on in the campaign. Manchester United were slow to start in the game against Arsenal last time out. Three early first half goals, some of them freakish goals, resulting in problems. And that probably means that Mark Skinner's side can't look forward to any endeavours in Europe next season. Although I'm fairly sure that they won't be giving up the ghost that easily. West Ham's last home game here came against Arsenal. Perhaps their most famous moment of the season. Howard Sissoko's stunning volley was enough. And all three points went the way of the Hammers. Manchester United may need to watch out here. Both sides looking to respond after de defeats last time out in the Barclays Women's Super League. And we should be just about ready to get underway. Fabulous atmosphere here today at the Chigwell Construction Stadium. Nikita Paris then, who missed out on England duty. Was a bit too keen to get us started. And at the second time of asking, we are underway. And Manchester United will look for the direct route out towards the left-hand side. Rachel Williams with a header in there. Rare start for her in Manchester United colours. Often coming off of the bench. Been a brilliant goal-scoring season for her. Four in the Barclays Women's Super League. In from the off. As is Hannah Blundell, who can send the ball back here towards Millie Turner, who finally 
made her England debut over the course of the last week alongside Mary Ertz, who moves the ball on. But great to see Millie Turner turning out against Italy. A moment that she said she was very proud of and so she should have been as well. Manchester United on the attack, two looking to get in. Unable to do that, thumped away by Mackenzie Arnold. And sent back forwards by Maya Letizia. Rather frantic in the early stages here. Toon loses it. And West Ham should be able to tidy up here. Hayashi may be in a spot of bother. Wasn't used by Japan over the international break, although uh, Shimizu and Ueki were heavily involved. Win against North Korea for Japan over the two legs, meaning they will be one of the teams that will make the Olympics in Paris in the summer. Goldson finding Toon. And the pass from Zellum back to Toon was short, offering the chance for West Ham to bring this one away. And Gori loses out in the challenge. Toon again, seeing plenty of the ball in the early stages. Paris looking for the progressive pass into the area. Sees that one intercepted and is turned away for the first corner of the game. Promising looking move here for Manchester United that doesn't result in too much. Tiziak able to make the clearance away. Manchester United punished from an early corner by Arsenal last time out, looking to do the same here. The best they can do is send that one sailing over the top of the bar, though. Nice delivery by Zellum. And it has been a bright start here for Manchester United. Here is Amber Tiziak. Plays a rather risky pass through the middle, and it's a risk that gets United in trouble. And Nikita Paris was there, but she's unable to take advantage. Been in fine form in the Barclays Women's Super League this season in a more central role. Nikita Paris looking for the top corner, wasn't too far away. Again, West Ham caught in possession, and this time they are punished. And Manchester United do have the early lead. Twice in quick succession, West Ham caught out. Passing in risky areas. And jumping in, Manchester United snatch the ball. And then Williams with a brilliant strike makes it. West Ham nil, Manchester United won. Well, it's a style that has become pretty popular, this passing on the edge of the penalty area. And when it works well, it opens up the whole pitch. West Ham on the attack, edge of the penalty area. Unable to trouble Mary Ups with the strike.
Zell and Batley. And it's another opportunity on goal for West Ham, but it's another chance which is well dealt with by the Manchester United defenders. First West Ham corner of the game. West Ham looking for a quick response, having conceded here after just three minutes. Trouble inside the area and trouble for Earps, but she makes light work of that. England's number one pushing away. More work for the Manchester United defence. And no chance to break for Nikita Paris as she runs into Katrina Gori. An action-packed opening seven minutes here. Rachel Williams with the goal. That seems to have poked the bear ever so slightly. West Ham instantly looking to reply. Here is Howa Sissoko. On towards Kirsty Smith, former Manchester United defender. Has put West Ham into a pretty good position here. And again, when needed and when called into action. The Manchester United defence able to get there. And Matiziak being pursued by Rachel Williams, who is showing a real desire to put Manchester United into a better position to score another. Blundell finds Malar. And Malar is happy to roll it back towards Leticia. Manchester United had, for a moment, lost control of this game, and they will look to get that back. Here is Smith was part of the Manchester United promotion team from the Championship up into the Barclays Women's Super League. And what a team that was. Alex Greenwood, Ella Toon, Katie Zellum, Lauren James as well, all within that Manchester United setup alongside Smith. Leticia, another who was heavily involved during the international break with England. Finds Blundell. Here comes Leah Galton trying to feed it through, clip the heels in the ends of Rachel Williams, who pulled into a really nice position on that left-hand side. Well, it feels as though Manchester United are in control, but it also feels as though, given the opportunity, West Ham have the capabilities to break and the players to cause trouble at the other end. Two very good goal-scoring options, of course, in Japanese international Ueki and French international Asai. Mala unable to bring the ball under control. And Sissoko goes back towards Mackenzie Arnold. Australian international. Who was involved in that Big win over two legs for Australia against Uzbekistan. And uh, Australia, as a result, will be heading to the Olympics in the summer. Both Gori and Arnold with a chance to be there. Oh, 
Arnold into Hayashi, being chased by Hayley Ladd. Shimizu in a spot of bother, being pursued by Nikita Paris, who more recently has been playing a central role for Manchester United. That hasn't been the case here. Rachel Williams has been the player furthest forward for Manchester United. Ella Toon now asking questions of Mackenzie Arnold, who manages to grab hold, and she gets there before Malar can. Testing ball here, teased in by Toon. Well gathered up in the end by Mackenzie Arnold. And the Australian goalkeeper looked as though she might be in a spot of bother, looks actually as though she's OK. And we will continue. You can see what Manchester United are trying to do, looking to win the ball back high up the field. Big roles to play for the likes of Toon and Zellum, who are fighting hard to win it. And then Malar and Rachel Williams are just ahead of those players. Right on the last shoulders of the defenders, looking to snatch in and score when the opportunity presents itself. A thumping challenge. Uh, Jess Sio losing the ball. Played her first 90 minutes of football since returning from injury. Jess Sio for the Republic of Ireland in their game against Wales. Actually featured in both of the Republic of Ireland's games over the international break against Italy and Wales. But good news for her, good progress being made. And now West Ham looking to make some progress, although I say feeling the pressure from behind Blundell sticking to her no chance to turn and West Ham have been forced all the way back Manchester United continue their excellent run of goal scoring they have scored in every single game this season and whilst there have been problems and maybe they haven't been as good as they were in the last campaign in front of goal They've been fairly impressive. And the hand motions from Rianne Skinner on the touchline suggest that she is hoping for West Ham to be a bit more direct. Looking for that ball perhaps beyond the Manchester United midfield where they can. That's been an excellent start to the game for Ella Toon, who's recovered the ball here. Wasn't able to feed it back to Malar, but she quickly throws into play. Malar's delivery will come all the way through and may just be recovered by Nikita Paris. Goulton into Zellum. And back to Goulton again. West Ham might be slightly frustrated that they weren't given the chance to continue there, but there was a foul on Hayashi. And we will get a breather because the tempo of this game so far has been pretty full on. Gorry with space, looking for Smith, trying to get beyond Blundell, not given the chance to do that though. Sissoko, and there to make the challenge is Millie Turner who is there to anticipate. Salem steers one in towards the path of Williams, who can't combine with Golton.
Gorey, courageous. And West Ham get the decision from the referee. Foul on uh, Assay, who came to recover the ball after the hard work by Gorey. Haven't had too many opportunities to test this Manchester United defence so far. West Ham's ball is comfortably dealt with by the Manchester United defenders. Here is Williams. Did have the opportunity there to play a brilliant ball through the middle. It would have had to have been a pretty perfect pass. Decided to cut back and keep hold of possession. The sensible option. Belgian international Tiziak back towards the Australian. Mackenzie Arnold. Not one of her best clearances away. Zellum with space to operate. And that can often be a dangerous thing. Leticia angles the ball, looking for Malar. Just drifting into an offside position. Free kick for West Ham. Smith unable to beat the challenge. Nice challenge by Rico Aweki. Japanese international might need a helping hand here. Smith looking to provide it. Nice ball around the corner. And the delivery deflects straight back to Smith. Glory, who's been excellent since her arrival, trying to feed it through. It's back with Sissoko. She looks for Tiziak. And West Ham will see what they can do on the other side of the field. Nice passage of passing. Golton able to steal it back. Well, Mackenzie Arnold came a long way. Had the confidence to meet it. Her World Cup jersey went on sale this week, the purple World Cup jersey that she wore for Australia. You needed to be pretty quick, though, to get hold of one of those. Sold out already, as I understand it. Arnold nearly got herself in trouble. Rachel Williams very nearly in again. Vandal's ball, looking for Paris. And she loses out in the foot race to uh, Hawa Sissoko. 
French international sprinting across, managed to get there first. West Ham still continue to pass out from the back, nearly get themselves in trouble again. Gori with a late challenge here, snapping in on Letizia. And the referee's first move is to see if there is some treatment needed. And the second move is going to be to have a word here with Katrina Gori. And this time it's just a talking to. Plenty of other games on the FA Play today for you to enjoy. And this one kicked off a bit earlier, not too long to go. Liverpool going well. Uh, Liverpool currently 3 1 ahead in their game against Aston Villa. And this is a big game at the bottom, one that West Ham fans will have a keen eye on Bristol City against Brighton isn't too far away from finishing as it stands Brighton are ahead by three goals to one both of those on the FA player for you right now Manchester United players across and speaking to the coaching staff looking to grab some instructions it has been a good start and the goal from Rachel Williams has put them into an excellent position although they are far from in control here just the one goal a slender advantage and then Leticia is at least back up here for Manchester United although you wouldn't say that that is a comfortable look from her Well, for now, Manchester United will play on with 10 by the looks of things. Zellum delivers. Sissoko nods away. And Toon sends it back into the area. West Ham have seen enough of that. And they make the clearance. Here is Toon, she receives the flick on. Managed to feed it through, found Mella, who found herself in an offside position. Definitely a different approach from Manchester United here today with the forward line. There is no Jace who's been heavily involved with Brazil over the international break. Scored one brilliant goal. One of two against Panama. Worth watching that one back if you are a big Jace fan. Lovely volley. Ella Toon scored a lovely volley as well in that game against Italy. Brilliant connection with her old teammate Lauren James. And Mark Skinner giving the orders on the touchline and what has been a tough season so far so good here Smith long clearance forward and Uweki running the challenge running the channels manages to get there wins the ball in the challenge against Leticia who is back onto the field and looks to be okay Hayashi. Well, 
Well, this time it's West Ham who draw the flag from the assistant. Another offside, another free kick, this time at the other end. And some brilliant additions, West Ham. During that period into the new year, Katrina Gorey being one of those. Makes a big impact in that midfield, and West Ham are so workmanlike in there. Gori and Hayashi will cover just about every blade of grass on this pitch. Need to start creating a few more chances, though, to trouble Manchester United at the other end. Malar back on defensive duty. The best she can do, though, is put the ball out of play. That will be another throw in about five yards further forward here for West Ham. And Zio wanted it back. It came back with a bit too much on it. And it's given straight back to Manchester United. Elatoon skips away, tries to feed it through. Mellar now. And then a touch that was a bit too heavy. Hayley Ladd chips it through. Rachel Williams comes away with the ball and finds Golton. Zellum uses it well, chips in. Confusion at the back for West Ham. Luckily, though, the mix-up doesn't lead to a goal, and it's gathered up by Mackenzie Arnold. Shimizu's ball up to Awaki. Unable to poke the ball on and find a teammate. West Ham throw it. 15 minutes to go until the break for half time. Here is Gori. Uh, Rachel Williams motors after the ball. And Mackenzie Arnold rather casually comes away with it and just about manages to pass the ball up into midfield. Nearly lost it. Now West Ham looking to build a break. And Gorey was in a good position, but she won't get to that ahead of Turner. And Ella Toon back inside her own half, deep, looking to get something going. Gorey into Hayashi. Space opens up here. Uweki inside the area looking for the penalty. 
And there was no interest at all from the referee, who was close by to make the decision. Mela. Now Nikita Paris looking to thread one through. It was a bit too congested in there, and there was a flag as well. Not for the first time against Manchester United as they've looked to break. Smith's header wanted the pass back, had made a good run. I say he was unable to feed it back to her. And I would say that so far West Ham have struggled to get their two more attacking players, Uweki and Asayi, into the game. Given the chance, they could probably cause anyone in the Barclays Women's Super League problems, those two, but they haven't been given the service so far. to see a long ball forward no problems at the back for Tizia uh, Tiziak who was able to make the header away Zellum the latest Manchester United player to try their luck with a cross the latest player to run into Amber Tiziak who is there to make the header. Good work by Smith. Well, last time I've seen the room out on the right. Anik Denton and Jesse are trying to combine. Now Gori. Gori's pass. Awakey on the spin. And the flag was raised as she tried to make the move. Did look as though she was about to lose the ball in any case. Goldson finds the feet of Toon, who can make a run. Being watched here by Hayashi. Malar into Blondell. I well, did wonder with the early goal whether or not this uh, might be a similar story to earlier on in the campaign when Manchester United were able to beat West Ham by five goals to nil. Hasn't been like that since. West Ham organised, difficult to break down. And frustrating Manchester United when they do break forward. That side of the game they definitely have covered. Gory's touch to Tiziak. And Rachel Williams continues to make things awkward with the press. Well, there's some hesitation at the back. Erps in the end gets the ball clear to safety. Although safety is only achieved momentarily, Gory. Picks up here for West Ham. Hayashi now. 
I say he won't get to that pass. And Manchester United managed to bring away. Here is Nikita Paris. Williams was nearly in. Lad looking for the ball around the corner. Sissoko not taking any risks with Nikita Paris right there on her shoulder. Good work by Turner, but it's West Ham who come away with it. But then it's Ella Toon who comes in to win it back. Say forced into a corner, unable to find a teammate. Manchester United on the break, looking for a second. <laughs> Williams with the pass. Zellum is there. And Leticia will go for goal. Well, had it been either side of the goalkeeper, Mackenzie Arnold, this could have been an interesting strike, but in the end, it's straight at her, and in the end for the Australian international, a comfortable stop. Soko finds a say in a pocket of space on the left. She will look to the right, she will lose the ball and give it straight back to Manchester United. Well, there is a lull in the game. That often tends to change just before the half-time whistle. Six minutes to go until we hit the 45. Hayashi. Say he was unable to do too much with it. Paris waits, waits for Zellum who arrives. And sees that the pass forward was probably a bit of a risky one. And Leticia had seen quite enough of that. And away it goes. Shimizu onto the head of Turner, gets that one away. Malar into Toon, who has to slide to poke on. It was a hopeful poke, and it was one that Tiziak was able to deal with before Rachel Williams, who was racing after it, could get there. Here is Williams, challenged by Ziu. turn happy to go backwards 
You do get the sense that Manchester United are looking to build something here. West Ham, though, not giving them the chance to do that. and penalised for the challenge on Denton. And it Denton, who was involved in both of the matches for the England under-23s over the international break, played against the Netherlands and Spain. A bright hope for the future. Winning a free kick here for West Ham, who are looking to find a way back just before the break. Smith looking to create. It's her ball that gets the flick on from Tiziak. But it's Mary Earps who is there. Gathers the ball into her arms here. And takes control just when it was needed. was the target from the long clearance forward from Earps. Couldn't get the flick on though. Here comes Gori. A lovely ball with the outside of the boot, but it's not where she wanted the return pass. I say had two runners. Unable to pick one out. Williams, has she managed to read the line? No is the answer. It's another flag. Goldson again playing a role at left back for Manchester United has done that across the season it was the injury to Gabby George earlier on in the campaign and that has caused problems and caused Manchester United to reshuffle in a number of different ways Gets a bit lucky with the clearance away. <laughs> Just in case you didn't catch it, a minimum of two minutes to be added at the end of this first half. Paris does well. Into a good crossing position. The header away nearly fell to Hayley Ladd. She was unable to do too much with it. Zellum. Trying to keep the attack alive. Here comes the ball from Blundell. Big header and a huge save as well. Mackenzie Arnold goes flying across when it looked as though the ball was destined to hit the back of the net. She pulled out a brilliant save from point blank range.
Well, if West Ham go on to get something from this game, they will look back and have plenty to thank Mackenzie Arnold for. Zellum delivers. Turner rising. And it's been smashed over the top of the bar. What a chance that was to grab a second of the afternoon. But it's one that Manchester United failed to take. Turner rising initially. Leticia was in there as well. And then Turner was the one who blasted over the top. Well, it would have capped a brilliant week for Millie Turner, but what a save there from Mackenzie Arnold, the Australian international, denying Rachel Williams the chance to grab a second. It would have been a goal for Manchester United that would have been so perfectly timed just before the half-time whistle as well. But now West Ham are still very much in this game. And they may have something to say just before the break themselves. Uweki, lovely ball. And you just wonder what could have been had Jesse who gambled a bit more there. That's the final moment of the first half. A frantic end to it. It's her goal that separates the two teams. Rachel Williams with the deciding moment that came just three minutes in. Smashing beyond Mackenzie Arnold after West Ham decided to pass away at the back. We'll be back soon for the second 45. At half time, it's West Ham nil, Manchester United 1. And we can look back on the highlights of the first half, and it started very, very quickly. There have been warning signs. Second time around, West Ham again passing out from the back, and Rachel Williams. In from the start today and in with the early goal. It was a fine strike. This would have been a brilliant effort. Had Mary Earps not got in the way of the strike from Katrina Gorey. Went scurrying across to make a brilliant save. And otherwise, there haven't been... Well, there weren't too many chances until this, right before the half-time whistle. One of the saves of the season from Mackenzie Arnold to deny Rachel Williams a second. And as a result, it's only one. West Ham nil, Manchester United one at half time. And then I go again. Okay, I'm Amy Rogers. I'm Ali Testro. I'm Taylor Hines. I'm Mackenzie Arnold. I'm Missy Bokens, and this is Away Day Teammates. My away game essentials are my PlayStation. I've got one of the Poga things, um, so I bring that with me. It's got a TV on, so I can play on the coach and stuff. iPad. My, my, my iPad for Netflix, yeah. like stuff like that. Yeah. Recently, my book, I've been into reading now, so, like, yeah, any book that I'm reading at the minute. I like having my AirPods, I can listen to music. Me too. I'd say that like coffee, but yeah, I went to like essentials. AirPods. My boots, my shin pads. I mean, obviously my boots. Um, game day sports bra, grip socks. My car max. Yeah, maybe just all my toiletries. I like to feel fresh all the time on my perfumes. I think hairbrush. I've got quite frizzy hair at the front. A lot of people like to have a pillow for the long journeys. Yeah. So you can sleep a bit. Nothing special. <laughs> people might not believe me, but on the coach, I like sitting on my own, playing on my PlayStation and stuff. Um, I do get up and have a wander and socialise with the rest of the girls, but on the coach, I like my own space. I like to sit next on my own. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I sit around the same, like, the same group of people, like Yana, Lorzy, um, and But, yeah, I like sitting on my own, but I don't mind who I sit opposite with because we've got tables. So, like, as long as I've got the two seats to myself, then I'm happy. Ah, uh, Kirsty Smith. Yeah, Amy. <laughs> We've been on one-away trips so far, but I'll, I mean, I'll keep it that way. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm satisfied. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And I'd say bye. Jazz and Fernie? Yeah. They like a card game. Yeah. We've already been enlisted into their card group, so. Yeah. Probably Viv and Hawa, always. Um, I think me or me and Enderby, I think we're always up to something. Stick little things in people's nose, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> when they're sleeping and stuff, or something like that. She'll, she'll come up with something. I don't know what it would be, but she'll make it up. Always late. No one's really late. I would say the last to get ready most of the time would be Shannon Cook. And we think, do you know what? No, we're actually all pretty on time. It was on time? Yeah. We've only had a few bus journeys, though, at the minute. So ask me again <laughs> in a few months. 
Okay, well, I don't think anyone has been late, but I will say Brooke is very forgetful, I have come to learn. Yeah. So I feel like if there anyone would be late, it would be Brooke just because she like forgot something lost or her phone again. Yeah, yeah, lost her keys, something like that. Probably Bo, Missy Bo, she'll just talk the whole time and sometimes I just need to like, when I'm reading, if I'm going to read my book, I can't sit next to her because she'll be talking to me. Princess Vivian Hawa, the whole time. Jamie Lee. Or Abby, maybe. Or Abby, yeah. yeah. The Scots. To be fair, a lot of, a few players, I'd say yeah, Neve sleeps a bit. Uh, Risa, or Hono. Um, Neve Fahi, she's always sleeping. Um, she's not lazy, but she likes her own space and sleeping on the bus. Not quite sure yet, but Emily Simon does fall asleep. Does she? Yeah, she can sleep anywhere. I say even I have a little nap. But yeah, a few people do to be fair. My best pre-game snack would probably be either three wheat bix or wheat bix, whatever you want to call them, and or sorry, butter on toast. I'm not gonna lie. I like to have a banana. I feel like I've been starting that now. Like having banana, give me a bit of energy and stuff. But I always have the same pre-match meal as well: poached egg on toast, always. I love porridge before a game or like open oats. That's the best thing. I don't really have a snack, but my pre-match meals, beans on toast, and if it's a night game, I'll have tuna pasta. I like making sure of getting a lot of carbs pre-game. Post-game snack. A wrap, maybe. I'm, I'm a sucker for a milkshake, some sort of chocolate milkshake or something, but yeah, I'm not really, uh, it doesn't phase me, to be honest. Post-game, I don't know, something that also fills you up, but maybe it's a bit less bland than like chicken and rice or something. Treat yourself a little bit. Yeah, treat me. Probably like a pizza or something. Our s &C puts food on sometimes after games and we always moan. Something grubby. So it'd have, probably have to be Macca's. The coffee trip, probably, myself. We're not allowed to go to Costa no more because Kerry only likes Starbucks. I mean, I feel like we would like to. Yeah, we're but, both coffee drinkers. Yeah, but, but we're not um, very, like, we don't know much about the area Probably just yet. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're getting a lot of recommendations, but I feel like in a couple months' yeah, time, we've got it. We've got it. Yeah. Is my ring, ring, ring? Then I'm, I'm just good. like just a week ago. <laughs> right, we've got five songs here that you have chosen. A okay, little yeah. bit of a soundtrack to your life that we're going to go through. Uh -huh. We're going to start off with Kalani, Cardi B. Oh, this is a banger. ring. Are you a big Cardi B, Kalani fan in general? Yeah, 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 definitely for sure. I think so. This song I always play before a game. Oh, okay. So that's kind of like my hype song. Like I mean, it's not the most hype. No, part, it's, but it's not. Like, it's but chilled. it's chilled. Yeah. Okay. Like it, it calms me. It's chilled. I'm yeah, relaxed. Yeah. But every game, without since it came out, without yeah. fail. Like imagine. So do you have a specific game playlist that you like focus on? that doesn't cross paths with your life playlist? Probably, I'd say there's a couple of songs here and there. Yeah. That is the top, top, top most important. Yeah. Like, if I'm like rushing and I haven't listened to it yet, like I'll sit there in the change room <laughs> with my headphones in. So it's almost become like a superstition now. Yeah, you have probably, to listen to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if Carla's speaking, I'm like, one sec. <laughs> Just have it in the background, Cardi B rapping. So what can we throw you this Love, time? love, love. I just think it reminds me of my mum. I don't yeah. know why, it's yeah. just like, obviously, their playlist back in the day, those, yeah. that that old school R and B vibes. I think just living in that era would be kind of kind of cool. Are you an old school R and B fan? I generally? am. Big yeah. old school R and B fan. And then if we go into slightly more new school R and B, yeah. we've got a bit of Post Malone. If so, I mean. did you watch this film? I did. Yeah, the, the Into the Spider Verse. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon <laughs> as soon as I like put it on straight away, just noticed the playlist. So good. It's so, it, it's unbelievable. It's so, like the so songs good. that we're playing, yeah. I think when when you were like playlist to my life, I'm yeah. thinking that's probably my intro to my life. Okay. Why why would you say start. that? Just like with how it comes in, it's upbeat, it's chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's that's me. This one. This one's definitely okay. on there. This is a this personal <laughs> favourite of mine, so I'm so glad. Because I don't think anyone else has chose Childish Gambino actually. No I think way. you're the first one. I could put so many of his on there. Love him. This song, I don't so not that I forgot, but I remembered <laughs> it when I was in Australia watching the Women's World Cup. Yeah, yeah. And just being in Australia, sunset, sunrise. Blue skies, you got the beach. Yeah. 
this song banging. Yeah. What more could you want? And then back to our old school R&B. Yeah. An yeah. absolute That's classic. What is my... So, fun fact. Yeah. That was top of the charts on my birth when okay. I was born. So. so there's a bit of a story behind it as yeah. well. So then I was like, do I put that at the start of my life? Because that's yeah. the day I was born and yeah. it was number one yeah. in the UK. That's a good one to have. Because so, other people, like when bad. you look at like, the one, like what was number one when they were born and it was like some terrible song yeah. and you're like, oh. I know. That's a good one. And when that's it's this one, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> their boy is. I'm like, Easy. If you were to... Uh, do a duet of that karaoke. What, mm -hmm. Who of your teammates are you choosing to do the other part? Do you know what? I'd pick Rachel Daly. She I'd is a karaoke is, yeah. guru. Yeah. I think she wouldn't disappoint. Do you think she's got that in her locker? Uh, bit oh, <laughs> I feel like we need 10 out of 10 effort yeah, and she would provide the 10 out of 10 effort. Yeah. So that's all I'm going to rate her on. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe not a big like yeah, Angie fan yeah, herself, we'll, but yeah, she put the effort yeah, in. Yeah, we'll see if we, we do it one day. And then out of these songs, You've just won a game. Which of those five are you playing to celebrate, get everyone going, have a good time? Oh, probably Post Malone. Okay. Chilled. Yeah. I'd probably play Ring, I'm lying. I'd probably <laughs> play Kalani. Kalani. Yeah, I'm lying. And everyone's like, this again, man. Yeah, it's yeah. Really not, that's why I'm not allowed on the speed. <laughs> that's probably why I'm not allowed. I have like three songs. To see us out, could you give yeah. us one line of Ring Ring? I feel like you got the vocals on. Oh. <laughs> Little one, little one. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> there you go. That's all we need. That's all we need. <laughs> Perfect. Cool. Thank you for giving us your choices. Uh, no problem. I'm going to add these to my playlist now. Yeah, sick. <laughs> Thank you. Rachel Furness, and this is my ultimate five side. So, in goal, I'd say Mary Earps, played with Art Redden world's best keeper right now, so Mary. I think she was fantastic at the World Cup and showed why she's one of the best goalkeepers around. So Mary... I mean, I guess I need a defender in there too, if I don't concede. Um, current centre-half, I'd say Millie Bright. Fantastic leader for Chelsea. Um, really, really tough to play against. Really physical, great on the ball. Zero goals conceded. Happy days. Kim Little, a midfielder that I've always looked up to and thought has been fantastic for Arsenal over the years. Um, a really kind of unsung hero, but one of the hardest players um, I've played against. So Kim Little, 100% in there. I need to score goals, so I'll say Beth Mead. Played with her at Sunderland back when she was just normal old Beth. Knew she was a kind of superstar back then, so yeah, definitely, definitely Beth in there. Viv, um, Miramar, I'd have to put in there. Her and Beth link up well. Yeah, fantastic player. I mean, a goat of the WSL, scores a lot of goals.
Welcome back to today's matchup between West Ham and Manchester United on the FA Player. At the break, Manchester United, one goal to the good. An early strike from Rachel Williams. Maybe a surprise inclusion in the starting lineup today, perhaps necessitated by the lack of chase. But it's a move that's definitely worked for Mark Skinner. Although, of course, Manchester United will be wary that it is only the one goal. There she is, the goal scorer. Where we go then for the second half, the task for West Ham is pretty clear after what we saw in the first 45 minutes. They need to create more clear-cut opportunities and test Mary Earps with a bit more regularity. Gorey runs into the head of Turner, who is back there again, but she won't get there. Uweki will, it was a half chance, but it's one that she puts wide. Can be an awkward customer, the Japanese international managed to get beyond the Manchester United defenders. Always looked tough from that angle to steer it beyond the goalkeeper, Mary Earps. And she could only put the chance wide. Gori looking to get that. Hayashi with a chance. Well, she scored a few this season, Hayashi. Wasn't able to get the shot away at the other end. Rachel Williams continues to be a nuisance for the West Ham defenders. Tiziak gives away. Paris pushing forward. Good start to the second half, this. Now off goes Zio. Well, it's been an enter entertaining day in the Barclays Women's Super League. Right from the start with the game between Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur, the North London derby. And we'll come back to this in a minute as Toon tries her luck. And Mackenzie Arnold gets behind it. Made one brilliant save for Mackenzie Arnold in the first half. And she makes another good save here. We have perhaps had today the most entertaining game of the season in the Barclays Women's Super League. Bristol City and Brighton providing it. Bristol City three, Brighton seven is how that one has just finished. Unbelievable scoreline. West Ham. Pushing to get back into the game. A really nice ball into the area by Assay. And then a wild shot flashed over the top by Katrina Gori. Very good start to the second half for West Ham. Jesse, who was lurking at the far post as well, needed the clearance away from Golton. Mallard's touch, and she'll make the run for the return pass. Mallard skips the challenge, plays the pass. The angles don't quite work for Manchester United, they can't connect the dots. And it's brought away, a frantic second half so far. Do have a good record, Manchester United, against those in the lower reaches of the table. 
not lost against the bottom seven sides. West Ham giving them a workout here in the second half so far. Here is Toon. Williams finds Paris. Held up by Smith. And Selim can't bring the ball under control. And Ziyu thumps away. Smith is called back. And Asay unable to get beyond the Manchester United defenders. Sissoko takes up the charge. See who can't spin. He went ch chasing after Mary Earps. She made the clearance. It's back with West Ham. And now back with Nikita Paris. No room for Toon to turn. Shimizu lifting one over the top. Denson chasing. And Goldson in her makeshift role at left back. Defending well. Preventing Denson getting close and winning the free kick as well. Tiziak's touch gives it back to Manchester United. Mallard has the pace in behind. She goes, and the ball was good. But it was a fabulous interception by the sliding Howard Sissoko. This looked really promising here for Manchester United after excellent work by Mallard. How about that, though, for a clearance? Zellum to the back of the area. And it's a huge chance again for Manchester United and one that goes over the top. And there may just be some problems here for Nikita Paris. More than anything, it looks as though the Manchester United winger fell awkwardly. Serena Wiegmann said it was a big decision not to include her in the England squad. And with Nikita Paris until recently playing a more central role, it's just such a competitive area of the field with the likes of Russo and Daly there. Smith, who started every single game in the Barclays Women's Super League for West Ham this season. Racing away with the ball and winning the free kick. One of four for West Ham to do that. Uweki, Asay and Shimizu, the others. And it's Uweki who's on the ball. And Smith provides the support. Here's the cross. Big chance here for West Ham. And Hiyashi sees the effort on goal while blocked by the recovering Manchester United defence. There are still problems here, though. 
problems that are dealt with by Katie Zellum, who is able to come away with the ball. Good spell this for West Ham. Need to make the most of it. Hayashi battling. And there were one too many back there for her to get beyond. Gori, somewhere between a cross and a shot. And it goes wide in the end. And West Ham come away with nothing to show for a brilliant spell, but they have had an excellent 10 minutes in the second half so far. Gorry doing really well in a congested area. It's just that final ball that she couldn't quite thread through, but the probability of feeding it through into that area was so low. Well, the Manchester United players seem to be concerned here about Millie Turner. Big week for her with the England debut. And she will receive treatment and Katie Zellum will call a number of Manchester United players over for a quick catch up, a quick tactical chat. And it looks as though something is afoot on the Manchester United bench. Changes are coming. And perhaps that's a response to how well West Ham have been playing in this second half. One of those moments where you wish you could lip read. Change coming up for West Ham. Alice Nurla coming onto the field. Replacement for Ziu, who's had such a busy week. Two games for the Republic of Ireland. Her first 90 of the season, and so she has been removed. Fresh legs for West Ham and fresh ones coming as well in just a moment for Manchester United, it seems. Now, what's the move for Manchester United? Well, the move is Melvin Mellar is coming off of the field to be replaced by Lucia Garcia. Was on the bench for Spain's big win in the Nations League over France. And it's going to be a triple change by the looks of things for Manchester United. Hayley Ladd on duty with Wales during the international break to be replaced by Lisa Nelson. Like for like change there for Manchester United. She'll drop into a similar position in the midfield. And Gemma Evans, who was also away with Wales during the international break, will come into the Manchester United defence and it looks as though it was an injury to Millie Turner. Now, before the stoppage, West Ham were in a good position. 
now it's about who adapts the quickest. So Garcia injecting some energy into Manchester United's attack. And Zellum with Zess. Hit that one goalwards off target and no trouble in the end for Mackenzie Arnold. Snurla. And now Gori. Plenty of room out here for Denton. Well, there was. Until Leah Goulton came racing across to close that space. Here's Toon, heavy touch from her, and that just allowed West Ham the chance to bring the ball away. Williams into Paris. Plenty of time for Katie Zellum to play the pass. Build-up doesn't lead to too much here for Manchester United. Smith and Sissoko between them, working the ball away. And the challenge was late on Gori, and that will be a West Ham free kick. In the second half, you would say that West Ham have edged the game ever so slightly. And again, the same problem, maybe haven't created enough indecision in the Manchester United defence. Leah Goulton slowly back up onto her feet. And here is Nelson. Well, Manchester United already have trouble at left-back. Now Leah Goulton is down. Latest Manchester United player to receive some treatment and they have been in the walls today. Millie Turner already heading off of the field with the injury. Remains to be seen how serious that might be. Now Leah Goulton for now will troop on. Yashi and Asay trying to make progress. Snella finding the pass. 
And it's sent on by Shimizu. A good looking ball into the area. And Leticia scrambles away with a helping hand from Golton in the end. Flag was raised. And it remains to be seen whether or not that would have counted or not, but they need to do that more often, West Ham. Balls into the area and test this Manchester United defence that, whilst it does have experience at the back, certainly not Manchester United's regular back four. Here is Gori. And Ella Toon manages to do enough to stop her in her tracks. And Zellum will look to feed the ball forward. Garcia fizzes in the delivery. Sissoko chests the ball down and makes one of these trademark runaways with the ball. And she'll find a say. And Sissoko is still forward here. And it was a heavy challenge. The arm was definitely lifted from Maya Leticia. Shoulder to shoulder, say the officials. And now Sissoko has left a space at the back. And Manchester United will look to exploit that. Tiziak is there, anticipating again. And well placed to help out with Sissoko at the other end of the field. This is a long ball. And after it is Nikita Paris. You see Garcia making things awkward for Mackenzie Arnold. Shimizu and Hiyashi turning Shimizu again there is Snurla that's a good pass I say here into a good position, only to see the effort blocked by Blundell. Now Gori, looking for options, can't find one though with the pass. Zellum comes away with it, instantly finding Garcia. No room to run with Hayashi close by, closing down the space. It's a brilliant ball to pick out Garcia. Lucia Garcia doesn't have the accuracy with the pass to pick out the teammate. She is one of those for Manchester United, of which there are a few big names, whose contracts, as they stand, are up in the summer. Well, there was a pull on the shirt, but the referee has allowed play to continue. Toon feeds the pass. Nelson is there. Chips one in. Big chance for Garcia, but it's one that she can't reach. The cross came in with just a bit too much height. 
build-up was almost perfect for Manchester United. Leah hey. Goldson around the outside of Denson, sends one in, big deflection, well anticipated by the diving Mackenzie Arnold. Well, she's having a brilliant game, the Australian goalkeeper. Well, the way these two teams are playing, throwing absolutely everything at the match, has a feeling of a game that's almost must win. Well, it certainly isn't that, but... Both teams looking for a response after losing last time out in the Barclays Women's Super League. So far, Manchester United taking the spoils. Three points heading their way. And maybe a welcome relief for Mark Skinner and his team. I've spoken a lot this season about not necessarily a lack of investment but not necessarily the investment that you would expect for a team right at the top of the Barclays Women's Super League Mark Skinner and you wonder what might change with the introduction of Ineos so far there hasn't been too much noise in that department as far as I'm aware Another change up coming here for West Ham. Well, I knew Denson heavily involved with the England setup this week. And she is removed to be replaced by Shannon Cook. Here is Gori. Gori's pass. He's fed him by Ueki. Hayashi looking for a save. It was just a bit too heavy for her. And that gave the opportunity for Manchester United to get back. And for all of West Ham's pressure, in this second half, Mary Earps has perhaps been a bit too quiet. This year's ball cut out by Snurler. Gorey had a few too many for company, wasn't able to keep hold for West Ham. Well, this is how West Ham were caught out in the first half with passing around like that. Eventually cleared away, and here comes the break, led by Nelson. Williams won't get there, ahead of Tiziak. And Tiziak is unable to make the clearance. 
Zellum looking for the killer pass. Only succeeds in picking out Mackenzie Arnold. Smith. Ball just bobbled up in front of Uweki, but she has poked on. And Asay can drift and look for support. She'll find some in the shape of Gori. Nice drop of the shoulder. And a disguised pass into Uweki. Brilliant sliding challenge by Leticia, who is back up onto her feet to block the effort from Asay. Scooped on by her. Gori is there to meet it with the volley. Then Asay flashed over the top. Sat up so nicely for the French international. And you just thought this might be their chance. They pushed so hard in this second half, West Ham. But she smashes over the top. Well, it really feels as though West Ham have added real quality to this squad over the last 18 months or so. They've been busy turning the team over and sometimes you just feel that it's maybe just confidence is lacking in front of goal more than anything Gori is one of those players who has added an extra dimension to this team and right on cue she passes the ball out of play Williams with the touch. Nelson making the run. And off goes Nikita Paris. Mackenzie Arnold has come to claim. And she hasn't got there, but she will get there the second time around. Well, she's had such a brilliant game, Mackenzie Arnold. One surprising move. Very nearly punished, but she managed to recover. And this game continues to feel like a cup tie. As Wolves wait in the wings. Throw into West Ham. Shannon Cook with a pass in towards Tiziak. West Ham go direct, create the chance. And on the spin, Assay did really well to get the ball out from under her feet. West Ham's top scorer is wide of target again, though. Five goals for the season in the Barclays Women's Super League for a say. Goal number six will have to wait though. Snurla onto Sissoko. Can't link up with Smith, who had moved away from her position on the left. 
And as a result, there are spaces that have been left in behind. It's a decent recovery by Sissoko, who gets there. She's conceded the corner, but she does prevent the cross coming into the area. Deep it goes, deep towards Williams. And Manchester United have another corner. Shannon Cook was there, did the job, managed to mark Williams so that she couldn't get there. Zellum goes towards the back of the area and West Ham again coping with the threat provided by Williams in the middle and this time they get the goal kick. Well, West Ham's last win here at home came against Arsenal. And they can certainly draw some inspiration from that victory. Special goal from Sissoko in that one. And West Ham are crying out for something special here. On the balance, they have been the better team, you would say, in the second half. Still nothing to show for all of that hard work. And Manchester United continue to hold on. Pressure provided by Emma Snurler. And rather casually, Gemma Evans walked in the opposite direction. Letitia's long ball forward. And here is Garcia. Lovely free from Garcia. Garcia to go for goal. It would have been a beauty. Curls over the bar in the end. Amazing run. Dribbled away from two. Created the space for the shot. And then the Spaniard hit that one just wide of the post. Nelson, the latest player to take a run at the West Ham defence. The substitute seems to have the energy that perhaps some of these players don't have. Busy period over the international break. There will be some tired legs out there. It's been a tough run of games. Cold into a good space. And that's three times in a row that Manchester United have searched for the head of Rachel Williams from the corner. And it's three times in a row that West Ham have managed to get there and stop her doing anything too troublesome. Zellum, curling ball inches away from finding the diving Rachel Williams who was just unable to connect well as far as preparation goes for the upcoming FA Cup match for Manchester United this has certainly got them in shape a good workout from West Ham and that is now really Manchester United's only hope of silverware this season Brighton to play in the FA Cup next here comes Garcia Ball just ran away from her ever so slightly. And the cutback only succeeds in finding Mackenzie Arnold. Hayashi, lovely ball. Snurler, 
threads it through. Asayi is away. She'll go for goal and score spectacularly. It's nothing more than West Ham deserve. They have been the better team in this second half. Two quick passes, and all of a sudden, a say is away, and the French international scores quite brilliantly. A looping strike, and what a moment. Well, it takes something extra special to beat England's number one. And Asay is the one to provide that extra special moment here. Very few clear-cut chances for West Ham in this second half. But when they create one, they really make it count here. And now, Uweki is pushing on for another. Goal number six for the season for a say in the Barclays Women's Super League. And now West Ham will look for goal number two. Gori delivers. Well, there was a deflection. Zellum deflects it back towards Mary Earps. There were some rather unusual moments and deflections in the game against Arsenal last time out for Manchester United. Zellum's clearance leading to the second goal. This time Earps able to gather. Now the West Ham fans enjoying themselves now. Big week for West Ham with the Europa League games coming up against Freiburg. And they've done pretty well in Europe. And they're doing pretty well here against Manchester United. Yellow card for Emma Sneller. Zellum sees the free kick headed away. Nelson now. Manchester United pushing to get themselves back into the lead. We have to say that 1 1 feels like a fair result, but football is rarely fair. Cross into the area over the bar from Golton. Well, with Bristol City losing in their game today, if West Ham were to get a point here, it would be ever so valuable. It would move them six points clear of the league's bottom side. And it would also be a return to form after a couple of excellent performances against Bristol City and Arsenal. Then came the game against Everton. There were late goals in that game, two of them. West Ham looking to prevent those here. They say who scored so brilliantly to put West Ham level here, trying to turn. Penalised by the referee. Well, however this one ends up, whatever the scoreline is at the final whistle, 
you have to say this has been another brilliant game in the Barclays Women's Super League. Really entertaining, plenty of superb moments. Two very good goals. And lots of really high quality football. The way it's been played, both teams going for the win and pushing all the way to the bitter end. Reiki chasing, won't get to that one though. Well, still plenty of time for this result to change. A minimum of six minutes to be added to the end of the 90. Gori, so tenacious and the ball was nearly perfect to say he was in a brilliant position. She still gets hold of it here. Found by Sissoko. Looking to turn provider this time. She sends in. And the effort is wide of target. And there has been a collision of heads in the middle. Now Garcia, as Manchester United try their luck, Williams holds play up, keeps things going here for Manchester United. No way through for Garcia, can't get beyond former Manchester United defender Smith, who has looked so charged up all the way through this game, a fine performance from her. All the way through to the better end, Uweki charging, won't get there. Ahead of Evans, who just had that extra step of pace. It's been a quiet second half for Ella Toon. Now Goulton. Momentum of the attack really dropping down. Zellum will try something from deep. Arnold comes to claim. Well, there's a collision as she does so, but she has managed to get there. Another commanding display from the Australian international. Well, initially it looked as though Mackenzie Arnold was the player who came off feeling the challenge a bit more. It was a rub of the knee, but uh, she was quickly back up. Amber Tiziak feeling the effects for a bit longer here in what has been a really busy week for her. Belgium International has been busy, keeping her team in Group A of the Nations League. And Viviana Say, who was just in the picture, very busy here for West Ham with the equalising goal. A goal of real beauty and a goal that looks as though, unless something dramatic happens here, West Ham will be coming away with the points. Gori is removed. And Bergman London is the one who comes on. Brilliant display from Gori. She is a player of real quality, a player that every single player would like to have in their team, you would feel. Covers so much ground, wins the ball back time and time again, and then has that pass. Pass into the more creative players. Another brilliant display from her. She's really caught the eye. Now Sissoko has to make a decision. Plays it back to Mackenzie Arnold. Just the two minutes remain. Oh, 
wild challenge from Ueki. Well, it's a hopeful ball, and it's a ball that lands well for Manchester United. And maybe that was the chance. It was a difficult one. Garcia on the volley with the strike. Straight into the arms of Mackenzie Arnold. Well, she was arriving with pace, Lucia Garcia, and she knew she had to take the shot quickly. Certainly wasn't an easy chance. Is that it? Is there one more moment in this match? One more game-changing chance? Again, it's the long ball. This time, though, Garcia can't get there. Well, the West Ham fans will feel that that was harsh. The referee quick with the whistle to penalise the say. And there is really only one option here for Manchester United as we hover so close to the sixth minute of injury time. Leticia with the final throw of the dice. And Mackenzie Arnold was pretty bold as she came to claim. And she's collided with Sissoko. Well, the ball has ricocheted off of Rachel Williams, who's missed the chance. Unbelievable. Well, the West Ham players are wondering how Rachel Williams was able to do this. And every Manchester United fan is wondering how that wasn't finished. Perhaps the biggest miss of the season. Well, it would have been cruel on West Ham. It would have been cruel on Mackenzie Arnold, who's had such a brilliant game. Made a fabulous stop in the first half that has proved to be so crucial. And now Rianne Skinner gets a talking to from the referee. And she will receive a yellow card. Dramatic scenes at the end of this one. The ball is now charged down at the other end. And now it's West Ham's turn to come forward. Assay looking to get there. She won't, though, ahead of Blundell. Well, as a neutral, this is a brilliant spectacle at the end. I imagine it was fairly stressful for West Ham and Manchester United fans. Manchester United might be wondering how they haven't won that with that chance right at the end of the game for Rachel Williams. But the fight back for Rianne Skinner's sides is complete. They were brilliant in the second half. A superb performance in the final 45 minutes and they got their reward with a brilliant goal. Fabulous strike. Vivian Assay. Lifting the ball over Mary Earps to make it 1-1. West Ham 1, Manchester United 1 is how it finishes here. Some game. Well, we can have a look back on the highlights now. Manchester United started ever so quickly. Hustling for the ball and Rachel Williams all of a sudden was in and she took the chance Sweeping into the far corner quite brilliantly a lovely strike 
West Ham looked for the instant response and it took the best of Mary Earps to push away to deny Gori. And then Manchester United decided that maybe a second goal was needed and this will perhaps go down as one of the saves of the season from Mackenzie Arnold. It certainly was a pivotal moment in the match. If Mackenzie Arnold hadn't made that save, well, West Ham wouldn't have a point. Leah Galton's cross here, leading to a deflected effort that very nearly crept in. But it was West Ham who really deserved something in the second half. They had the better of proceedings. They were pushing and probing. Two really good chances for Assay, who was really just warming up. Warming up for this. And what a brilliant goal it was. Special strike. And a deserved equaliser for Rianne Skinner's West Ham, who were excellent in this second half. West Ham threatened to throw it all away. Garcia had that chance. And then Rachel Williams with perhaps the miss of the season. Entertainment right from the very first whistle. And 1-1 is how it finishes. West Ham 1, Manchester United 1. Thanks for joining us.